Bay and welcome to episode 77. In the last episode, we crossed the border into Uzbekistan, got some work done on the Trupi, visited the old city of Samarkand and camped in the desert. In this episode, we make the long trek north of Nukas, stopping to check out an ancient fort before we camp by a river and meet some of the locals. just arrived at the fort. Um, there's actually two forts. I'm just walking up the big one now and then there's another one down there. So we're actually, yeah, we're parked here now but we're gonna, I think, just camp around here. Bit of a cooler view. But yeah, this place is awesome. So I'm just following <laughs> Mark's hiding from the heat. Nice and cool in the tunnel. Yeah. So we moved the car and I done a little bit of a clean up between point A and point B which is only like 10 or 15 meters or something like that of all of this broken glass. It's crazy how much there is. Just didn't want to risk getting a puncture tire. But I'm sure you could have fixed it like you did mm. the last one. <laughs> Scrambled eggs with onion and tomato on toast. Love it, it's my favourite meal of the day. Yeah. We've had to put up our little wind block here. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually quite breezy here. Yeah, it's a very hot wind. It's quite nice though. So we're just about to go down and explore this fort. Um, apparently you can go inside and we've seen some people yesterday go up on the on the roof so yeah we're gonna go check that out it'll be pretty cool um, and then after that we are heading towards Nukas which is the border town to Turkmenistan um, but I think on the way there's another couple of forts which we might just go and check out um, but yeah that's what we're about to do
So there's actually three forts in this complex, this is what we're standing on now. Um, this more compound style one over here, which you can't really see from this angle, but you can see some resemblance of the walls left. And then the one we camped up there last night. So that one up where we camped is actually oldest. I think that's about the start of building that about two and a half thousand years ago. This one about 1500 years ago, and that one a little bit before this one. This one was actually considered, supposedly, the, um, the most beautiful palace in the whole of Central Asia when it was active. I'm not sure if that, that's accurate, but that's what they say. Anyway, it's uh, pretty windy up here, which is actually quite nice because it's probably about 40 degrees, so it's quite, quite pleasant in the breeze. I'm a bit disappointed because I thought you could actually go inside this one, but you can see here where the rooms were, where it's all, it's all collapsed. Um, so yeah, you can only walk around on, on the, what was the roof. And we've only seen one inhabitant now looking after the place, which is a, a nice little snake in, the, in what appeared to be the old main room. Just get it off the phone and get it. Yeah, unfortunately we couldn't catch him on the camera. But anyway, we're going to hit the road now and start heading towards Lucas. I just finished making breakfast. <laughs> then we got some visitors. You don't have enough food for them. No. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh they're all going in. We are completely surrounded by camels. <laughs> Look at this one. What are you doing there? Oh yeah, this one. He's... <laughs> <laughs> this is the most random set of visitors I think that we've ever had. There's just so many. So, fun facts, this river is the Amu Daria and we're now in the desert oasis that is the Amu Daria Delta. The same delta region that fort we stayed at last night was built thousands of years ago to protect. Remember way back to those Afghan shepherds we watched herd their yaks in the Wakhan? Well that crystal clear river we camped next to is the source of this exact big brown river we camped next to here, about 2,000 kilometres upstream and 3,500 metres higher.
Mass Exodus. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, there's Wadi. Oh. <laughs> well, that was an interesting couple of hours. <laughs> they were like super keen on us taking photos which of course like we were keen to do anyway but then they asked for like a copy of them but we didn't have a printer so anyway one of them had an SD card so we could give them some of the photos which was awesome because yeah they said they didn't have email or anything but yeah <laughs> that was really fun what nice guys <laughs> So we've actually moved spots from um, where we were camped by the river. We had been there for a couple of days um, working on the video and just trying to catch up on stuff, but it, it was just getting too hot that the computer wasn't really working too well. So yeah, this morning after we were invaded by that huge herd of camels, um, yeah, we just decided that we'd go into Nucus and find a cafe. So we've just been there working all day, making the most of aircon. Um, so that's been awesome. We've had a really productive day. So now we've just come to this spot, which is next to some ruins. So we're going to camp here tonight and then tomorrow we are heading to the border, which isn't too far from here. Um, yeah, so here's like kind of halfway between Nucus and the Turkmenistan border. So yeah, I might go off and check it out. Mark's already ran off without me. This is Gayarakala, which translates to the Fortress of Infidels. Built about 2,400 years ago, the fort was given the name by the Arabs who conquered the region in the beginning of the 8th century because the inhabitants were Zoroastrian. You may not have heard of Zoroastrianism, though it is one of the world's oldest continually practiced religions and an integral part of Uzbekistan's history. Zoroastrianism first entered recorded history around 500 years BC and served as the main religion of Persia for around 1,000 years until Muslim conquest. Zoroastrians worship in fire temples, of which this fort and all forts we have visited in the Stans house, even the caravanserai Tashrabat, way back in episode 61 at the start of Kyrgyzstan, was originally built as a fire temple. So we've just set the car up and have brought the chairs up to watch the sunset. So it's our last sunset in Uzbekistan. We've only been here for a week and a half, but it's been awesome. We've really really enjoyed being out in the desert, camping next to the fort, um, and now another one. Um, and yeah, feeling a little bit warmer. It's, um, it's been a while. But yeah, a good, good way to top it off because this is going to be an epic sunset, I think. Those clouds are just going to look spectacular. So it's about one o'clock now, and we had full intentions to have already crossed the border by now to Turkmenistan but last night um, just after we watched the sunset I came into the car to clear the memory cards onto the hard drive and the hard drive started off just being really really slow for the transfer and then it just completely shut down on me um, and yeah we couldn't see any of the files which was extremely worrying um, but yeah we Mark ran some scans and um, yeah nothing was coming up so we're thinking it's mechanical which it could be because of the the heat that we've been working in the last few days it's been like 40 to 45 degrees every day and it's just been struggling I guess um, but yeah so we're gonna take it to a um, recovery person in Tehran which will probably be in like a week and a half or two weeks time something like that and hopefully hopefully they can recover um, the footage from the ones that we haven't backed up so um, yeah feeling a little bit upset at the moment I hope I hope it's not gone for good 
I guess time will tell. So yeah, there might be a little bit of a gap and I suppose by the time you watch this, it'll all have pieced together. But um, yeah, we're going to the border now, which is seven kilometers away. And then we are going to the market to exchange some money, which I'll explain a little bit more about that when we get there. And then we're driving about 200 kilometers to the doorway to hell, which is a burning gas crater. So we're gonna camp next to that tonight. So hopefully that will be a, a good distraction from the, um, the hard drive issue, which is now gonna be in the back of my mind for the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, anyway, time to get going. So that wraps up our time in Uzbekistan and what a contrast from our time over the border in the mountains of Tajikistan. Join us in the next one where we cross the border and tick off our final Stan country. If you like the video feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and notification button to know when we post the next one. Thanks for watching, see ya.